Place some brand new poll numbers from the battleground states of Ohio and Missouri and in the pivotal state of Ohio. Barack Obama's up nine points over John McCain according to this new poll, 51% to 42%. And it's a tight race in the bellwether state of Missouri. John McCain leads Obama by one point there, 45 to 44, although that is essentially a statistical tie. Michelle Bernard, MSNBC political analyst, joins us now as well as Lynn Sweet. She's the Washington Bureau Chief of the Chicago Sun-Times. And Lynn, first of all, your reaction to these polls, do you get a sense as to where the race is moving at this point. Well, the momentum is going in Senator Obama's favor. When a poll shows a, even even if he's behind in Missouri, that he's catching up in the end is a good sign. Usually the person that is coming from behind near the end of a campaign is, is the one who is going to uh, go over the finish line first and win. And uh, having a lead in Ohio, a critical uh, state, is important. The, the key here for Obama is that he has many states that could lead to victory. Senator McCain's options are much narrower. He has to win almost every toss-up state. Tough position to be in. And Michelle Bernard, as, um, as Lynn just pointed out, Missouri, McCain up by one uh, in that state, according to the, uh, the latest poll out. But if you look at, for example, the Mason-Dixon polling out of Wisconsin, Barack Obama up by 12, 51 to 39. And in West Virginia, John McCain only up by six, 47 to 41. This message that the McCain-Palin ticket has been suggesting that Barack Obama is now engaged in socialism, is that a message? Message that you think can break through in some of these states? At, well, as of right now, at least depending on when these polls were taken, it looks like the message of socialism uh, is not working. John McCain right now is most definitely playing defense, and he does not have the money uh, that the Obama campaign has to, you know, in order to go out on the offense. Um, one of the problems with the message of, 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 of the McCain campaign saying that Senator Obama is a socialist is that most of the nation is looking at the rescue plan or the bailout or whatever it is that you want to call it, and remembering that both Senator McCain and Senator Obama were strongly in favor of it. And, and if, if, if we're going to talk about socialism, there's an argument to be had that that bailout plan was an enormous socialist uh, program. Um, people aren't listening to it. People want to know, what are you going to do about the economy? Who feels our pain? And who is going to get us out of the jam that we're in right now? And, and I think that the McCain campaign is going to be scrambling for another message over the next two weeks. And Lynn Sweet, as far as this uh, argument by the McCain campaign that Barack Obama wants to give tax breaks to 95% of all Americans and therefore 40% who don't work, my understanding of the plan, and I thought Obama has been saying pretty consistently, it's 95% of all working families, that he wouldn't give tax breaks to people who don't work. Am I wrong on that? People who pay no income taxes already or who might get uh, credit through the earned income tax uh, credit program are just not a part of, of, of this program. If you're not paying taxes now, you're, you're not going to get a further break. The, the tax program is for people who pay taxes. It's, in, it's just, a, in this case, I, I think it's just a confusing point, but it could be made simpler if you don't pay taxes. This program is not about you, in, in essence. Uh, and so, There's Michelle a lot Bernard, of what do you make the philosophy of taxes? But this isn't one of them. So, Michelle Bernard, what do you make then of the McCain campaign? Essentially, I guess you could say misleading on exactly what Obama's plan is by suggesting, oh no, he wants to give tax breaks to every American, when in fact, as Lynn just pointed out, no, it's just the working Americans. Well, I think it's a, what it shows is that the McCain campaign, again, as we said earlier, is on defense, and he is looking for new voters. He's looking for middle-income and lower-income voters, and he has to find a message that resonates with them. I would argue, I would assume that the argument the McCain campaign would make is that if Senator Obama or an Obama administration were to allow President Bush's tax cuts um, to actually expire, then that technically is a tax increase on lower-income uh, residents uh, here in the United States states. Um it, it's not a good message. It's not resonating, and it really just shows the difficulties that the McCain campaign is running into now because they are scrambling for voters outside of their base because the Republican base, as it stands right now, may not necessarily be enough to put Senator McCain in the White House uh, in the next few uh, in the next few weeks. Michelle Bernard, MSNBC political analyst, and Lynn Sweet, Washington bureau chief for the Chicago Sun Times. Thank you both.